Aries, good morning. Welcome to Live Jerry Cherry Sunday, episode 55. And, uh, and in today's video, we're going to play some, some simple outside playing with the pentatonic scale. Your simple... But everybody knows that scale, right? <laughs> good morning, Michael O'Malley. I'm early. Not trying to play along today, but my hands hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I understand. My hands hurt, too. Um, actually, they feel pretty good today. So give you a little round of applause for hanging out. All right. Hello, Kelly. Good morning. Good to see you. And, uh, Michael, good to see you. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me here early this morning. And uh, we're doing some really cool um, pentatonic outside rocking today so um just want to have some coffee say hello to my friends for a second and i'm going to put some timestamps in the um description so if you want to get right to the lesson you could do that as well but right now i want to say hello to kelly good morning how you doing are you uh caffeined out yet drinking some brew <laughs> Gonna play some guitar for you. All right, so this is a really cool concept, and um, you know, something that'll kind of take your guitar playing out of the regular um, pentatonic, pentatonic scale and uh, just move outside a little bit. And when I mean outside, I don't mean like outside in the in the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> outside of the scale. So uh, let me give you a little example of what it sounds like here today. Um, Kelly, you're in your second cup. Of coffee now? Okay. Sounds good to me. I think I'm going to need a second cup pretty soon, too. So, um... So the whole idea, the concept of this, is to play the pentatonic scale. And then just play it down a half step lower. And then come back or play it a half step higher but then come back and resolve so it's a cool little trick to sound outside and you're playing and um, you know I came up with a little loop here over an E minor chord sounds something like that so um, let's give it a shot and see what it sounds like all right, here we go.
So something like that. All right. What do we got going on over here? We got uh, Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Same shape, just a half step down or up. That's it. It's the same shape. I'm doing the same exact thing I'm playing. Same shape. I'm just moving it down a half step. Or up a half step. So, um, but basically what's, what's tricky about it is that you have to kind of come in back on the, you know, on the, on the one of the E. So you're playing like the regular minor pentatonic. Resolve on the E since I'm playing an E minor chord. Pretty crazy sounding, huh? Yeah, it sounds odd if you don't get that resolution soonish. That is true. Um, but that's kind of the whole trick is to um, kind of pick your your beats. You know, um, it's like the way I'm thinking about it is um, I'll kind of come in, I'll play the E minor pentatonic scale, and on the fourth maybe the fourth beat of the rhythm, I'll play outside a little bit and then come back in. Or maybe on the third one, you know, the third down beats, um, you know, then try to resolve it. Like, a, I'll play a, um, good morning, Tom. That's all right. Just in time. <laughs> We're just getting warmed up here. So I'll try playing just the fourth beat, a half step down, and I'll come back in on the turnaround of the fifth beat. Let's see what that sounds like. With the, uh... bit smoother sounding because I'm I'm not really playing outside too much I'm just doing it on one beat and that's on the fourth beat so you know I'm trying to keep it real simple for four beats one two three and then coming going right back into the minor pentatonic scale so it's not out too long it's just long enough to where you're like hmm what is that <laughs> And if you play like, if you play like John Schofield, you stay outside all the time. Yeah. Well, John Schofield is one bad dude, and uh, so if I stayed out all the time, it would be like a kind of like.
Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. So, yeah, it's good practice to uh, and maybe just pick your pick your um your quarter notes. You know, right now I'm just focusing on the fourth of it, where I'm just kind of playing, trying to play outside in just the fourth beat, where it's like. Um, Back in. So it sounds natural. tone run hmm well since I'm over a um, a minor chord progression um, the only way I could think of how I would use a whole tone would be um, is if I played it a fifth above the E minor like if I played a B minor whole tone I think it would work because that's what we saw. let's see what that sounds like it would be a B whole tone scale it would be kind of like this like that you know playing a B whole tone
Something like that. All right, guys, hopefully you're finding this helpful. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I release a video um, every week. I just released one yesterday, actually, um, about when I met Phil Chen, a nice, uh, when I was on tour with Chubby Checker, and uh, Phil Chen was out with um, The Doors. It was a, The Doors Revisited, or The New Doors. And uh, so I made a cool video about that. So I'll put a card over here, and I'll put a link in the description. If you want to see that video, please check that out. Um, Justin, do you have a band? Well, I have my own music that I play. It's Jerry Cherry, and I have a couple of records out. You can check that out. And, you know, I'm a sideman in a few different projects. I play in a disco band. I play bass in a disco band. I play um, guitar in, a, in some tribute bands, 80s type bands, and uh ABBA tribute bands, <laughs> so I'm kind of a hired gun, so to speak, and uh, so thank you for that, Justin, and so hopefully you're finding this helpful, and you know, I'm pretty new to it myself, as you can see, I'm kind of, kind of stumbling across different things, but uh, it's something that I've always wanted to mess around with, and uh, you know, it's fun, just to kind of get outside of the scale a little bit so um, let's see you know let me know in the comments section if there's anything that's um, that you're interested in any kind of theory or any um, solos that you'd like me to go over I think it would be really cool to um, you know see what you guys are into and uh, Kelly applauding the guitar <laughs> Very cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on Sunday. You know, it's a very gray day out today. Any plans for the rest of the uh, Sunday? I'm going to mix this up a little bit. It's a little... Uh... And then we got some football coming up. <laughs> Hired Gun with some great original stuff, bro. Oh, thank you very much. Raining there, watching the game. Is the game on already? Really? Hmm, well, it's 11.21 here. So I'm assuming that the, you know, it's coming up, the game. <laughs> All right, so one thing I didn't get into was... Um, Playing the stuff in, in in all five of the pentatonic positions, like uh, you know, not just um, focusing on this area. We're playing um other pentatonic positions, like right here. down here.
with no plans? All right, that's cool. It's great to have no plans. Sometimes, you know, just chill out and relax and enjoy the Sunday. That is awesome. All right, so I think we got enough right now for uh, for this Sunday, guitaring. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say just uh, play it in all the positions up here. Do it up here. You know, find the E and just kind of... it up in this position. positions and um, do it half step above half step below you could probably do it you, could, you can do it over major progressions as well over if you're playing blues Thank you for hanging out with me on this awesome Sunday, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Come back next week for another episode, <laughs> and uh, like I was saying, leave, in, leave a message in the comments if you have any um, any ideas for any future lessons or any theory. So Merry, Merry Christmas special next week. Um, actually, I also go live on Facebook every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and um at Jerry Cherry Band. So um, check that out. This week I'm going to do some Christmas songs. And uh, we're going to be rocking around the Christmas tree and all that stuff. <laughs> so please join me there. So yes, Tom. There is a Christmas special this Thursday. And uh, so I think Christmas is on Saturday, right? This year, um, Christmas will be on Saturday. So yeah, so it'll be Sunday, the 26th. It'll be next week. And, um, you know, so I'll be playing. I'll be there unwrapping my, uh, you know, playing with the toys, the new toys. <laughs> Happy to holidays to you, Justin. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Very cool. Give you a little round of applause. <laughs> so this is a tricky, you know, subject with uh, playing outside. It's like, it just sounds like, you know, really weird if you don't kind of land back in the on the roots so it takes a little work but it, it's fun and uh, so let's see uh, what else did I want to say before I go all right well thank you guys for hanging out um, my friend Kelly here in the chat has a great channel too on Facebook check her out at Kelly's Music Corner every Tuesday and Thursday at seven o'clock she does the bedtime stories and lullabies and it's really really fun so I'm always there and uh, it's really cool. 7.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week. So check that out. At Facebook, Kelly's Music Corner. Have a Merry Christmas, Tom. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hopefully you picked up something on this. And um, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be cool, be kind, and be cherry. Love yous. Be good. Enjoy your day, guys. Happy Sunday. Peace.